Poetry, Chapter 1, Section 6. This is Example 4, the last one for this section. Um, we want to find the perimeter of triangle PQR, and we're given our points here. So P is at negative 1, and then at 3, 1, 2, 3. So there is P. Okay. And Q, Q is at negative 3, negative 1. So there's Q. And R, R is at 4, negative 1. And that's R. Okay, so then we want to find the perimeter of this. So if we just put in our segments here, we got a segment here, a segment there, and a segment over here. Uh, looks like we've got one easy one to do, this, this horizontal line that goes from 4 back to negative 3. So remember that we find a distance, a horizontal distance or a vertical distance, you just subtract. So that would be 4 minus a negative 3. And 4 minus a negative 3 is the same thing as 4 plus 3. So that is 7. So our first distance here is going to be a 7. So that's this one. Okay, we've got another distance. We're going to have to find the distance along here. We can use Pythagorean theorem or our distance formula. Um, Pythagorean theorem is pretty easy because we already have this set up. So if I draw in my right triangle here, uh, one of my legs on my right triangle is 2. The other one is 1, 2, 3, 4. So Pythagorean theorem says that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So that would be 2 squared plus 4 squared is equal to c squared. So we've got 4 plus 16 equals c squared. So 20 equals c squared. And so then to get that by itself we square root both sides and you end up with c is equal to the square root of 20 which is approximately if we plug this in 20 and square root it approximately 4.47 so approximately 4.47 so I can put um, 4.47 and grab that, turn it kind of on its edge, shrink it down a little bit, and fit it right there. Okay, so that's going to be 4.47 right there. And then I need to find one more side. So I need to find this side over here. This third side of my triangle. Again, I'm going to make a right triangle. And my legs on my right triangle are 1, 2, 3, 4. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I know that, again, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So that would be 4 squared plus 5 squared equals c squared. So 16 plus 25 is equal to c squared. 16 plus 25, uh, 6 plus 5 is 1, or, um, 11, so 2, 3, 4, so that would be 41, is equal to c squared. Then you've got a square root both sides, and you get c is approximately the square root of 41. So 41 square rooted is approximately 6.40, so approximately 6.4. So this third side here is approximately 6.4. I take that. I'm going to turn it on the side and shrink it up a little bit and put it in my picture. So that's how I got my first one. So my first side, it was just subtract the two measures because it's horizontal. And then I used to use my Pythagorean theorem twice. Then I want to find my perimeter, so I'm going to add this all up. 
So I need my 7 plus my 4.47 plus my 6.4. My 4.47, my 7, and my 6.4. Grab my calculator. I'm going to put in my 7. Add it to my 4.47. And add that to my 6.4. And that gives me an approximate uh, perimeter was approximately 17.87. And units, did I have units on this? Um, nope, so it is just units. Okay, my perimeter, which is what I was looking for, find the perimeter of this triangle is approximately 17.87 units. Again, using a subtraction for the horizontal line, and the Pythagorean theorem twice, once for the diagonal here I did in green, and the other for the diagonal I did here in blue. So if you've got that, that's great. Go ahead and stop. If not, then maybe you want to try this one on your own and then come back and see how you did on it. So uh, push pause right here, try this one, and come back. Okay, so if you try this one, uh, we need to put a point on here first. Not really what I wanted. Let me grab a point. Um, no, it's not going to give it me what I want, so I'm going to force it. So then I want to go to here properties, and I want to solid fill it with black. There we go. And then I want to make it just a tiny bit smaller and infinite clone it. Okay, so my first point, A, is at 0, 4. So 0, 4 is right there. And that is point A. Oops. There's A. Uh, 4, 0 is out 4 and up 0. And that is B. Uh, 3, negative 4, 3. Negative 4 is down here, so there is point C. Negative 3, negative 4 is right here, so there is point D. And negative 3, 1 is right there, and that is E. So we can do the easy ones first. Let me just draw in our pentagon. We have two easy ones to do and three one three of them that we'll have to use Pythagorean theorem for. So this DE, let's grab black, we'll do DE. DE, you're just going to subtract. So this is four minus, um, or one minus a negative four, one minus a negative four which is 1 plus 4, so that is 5. And if we counted 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, you get 5. So that distance right there is 5. Then I can do um, CD. And it's also a horizontal. Verticals and horizontals are easy because you subtract. So this one is going to be 3 minus a negative 3. 3 minus a negative 3 which is 3 plus 3, so that is 6. And if you count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, you get 6 right there. Okay, so then I've got to do CB. CB is going to be a Pythagorean theorem 1. C, or B to C. B to C, I can list them alphabetically, so we just kind of keep track of that. So B to C, I'm going to be doing a right triangle right there. So one side is 1, the other side is 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's going to be 1 squared plus 4 squared equals c squared. So that's 1 plus 16 equals c squared. 17 equals c squared. Square root both sides. And so c is equal to the square root of 17, which is approximately 4.2. 1, 2. OK, 
Okay, so that makes this side right here approximately 4.12. That doesn't look very good. One, two, 4.17. Which one was it? 4.12. Okay, so this is the one that I didn't quite write. So that one needs to be a 2, 4.12. Okay. Shrink it, turn it, put it where it belongs. Okay, so that's my 4.12 right there. And then I want to do my next side. So here I can do AB. So AB. Go down here, A, B. Draw in my right triangle. So that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4 on this side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 on this side. So that is going to be 4 squared plus 4 squared equals 2C squared. So 16 plus 16 equals C squared. So 32 equals C squared. Square root both sides. And square root of 32 is approximately 5.66. The 6 would round that 5 to a 6. It's 5.66. 5.66 is approximately C. So I'm going to write my 5.66. Take it and make it a little bit smaller and rotate it and put it up there. Okay, so that's approximately 5.66. And then I've got one last side to do. So I'll do this E to A. From E to A, draw in my right triangle. It's 1, 2, 3 here. One, two, three here. So it's a three by three, so that's going to be three squared plus three squared is equal to c squared. So nine plus nine equals c squared. So 18 equals c squared. Square root both sides to get rid of the square. And c is approximately the square root of 18. So square root of 18 is 4.24, 4 4.24. Okay, so 4.24. Shrink that down a little bit, put all that into my picture. Okay, so I've got all five of my sides filled in. Now I just need to add them all up, so it's going to be Clear this all out. This 5, right? I'm just going to work my way around my circle, or my uh, pendant on 5, plus this 6, plus this 4, no, this 4.12, 4.12, 4 plus this 5.66, 5.66, and this 4.24, 4.24. When I add them all up, I get the answer of, was that 25.02? 25.02. And again, there's no units on this, so we just say units. And that is my perimeter of my pentagon.